Just a quick evidentiary video about how the criminals are throwing tree bark around my property. It's actually everywhere. I do have a couple of trees on one side of my property that actually does shed this bark, but not around here, but it's everywhere. Like right here. This is a tree bark. another stalker in the neighborhood. But here, look, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And here's, you know, one of the branches because they've got to do the branch. Here's another one. Here's more tree bark. As you see, it's everywhere. They just totally litter my property. It's every, everywhere. And this is every day. I can walk around my property literally for an hour picking up their trash. And this is the plausible deniability is, oh, it, it fell from a tree. It didn't fall from a tree. These people are actually, at night, throwing litter all over my property, all over the place. It doesn't matter where. Look, all the way down here, I've got tree bark and another branch. It's just un- Believable, non-stop trashing my house. Non-stop. Here's the little X. And you know, I don't walk down here every day. You know, I've got a big property. I stay pretty much, you know, around where I live, where my animals are. And this is also what they're doing. They're chipping my side of the county road, watch. See that? But of course, this is also where a surveillance person hangs out. They hang out here. They also hang out at the center um, of the, the little bridge up ahead. But yeah, this is what they do. They just lay the love to litter my property. Branches, leaves that don't belong here. And I know it sounds bizarre, you know. Oh, well, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have leaves. Well, actually, brown leaves this time of the year is just an anomaly. And what they're doing basically around my property is placing leaves around my residential area with all these little tiny holes in them. They look like lace. And um, I'll have to show you. I'll have to show you what they, they look like. But here's more tree bark. Oh, and by the way, it was 93 degrees today. Extremely, extremely hot. And um, I just wanted to say that also, um, thank you everybody that watched my interview testimony with David A., David Atkins, yesterday. It was quite long. It was almost two hours long, and usually his, his um, interviews don't last more than an hour. So thank you so much, David, for taking the time, and Holly... For taking the time it was like a lot of fun the time actually just flew but the criminals like two days before i had absolutely decided i was not going to change my interview because they were radiating my eyes i wanted everybody to see what they were doing to my eyes and in my mind i kept saying that so of course you know these criminals that monitor my brain um knew that Two days before the interview, my eyes completely healed up. No radiation, no itching, no swelling, no nothing. Here, look. This is all the tra This is in front of my house, by the way. Every day. Every day it looks like this. Every day. So anyway, they let up on my eyes for two days before the interview. So on the interview, I was actually able to wear makeup. My eyes weren't tearing, etc. That night, after I removed my eye makeup and went to bed, my eyes actually started tearing again. They started tearing up. And when I woke this morning, they were closed shut and radiated all over again. My eyes are so swollen, red, itchy. I've had to use eye drop, drops like three or four times today. 
And, and this is what they do to the driveway here. Just absolutely filthy every day. I was here yesterday and cleaned all this up. Now, how is this possible? How is this possible? And thank you, subscriber, for um, uh, telling me that, uh, telling the story about your friends um, who are targeted and that you're targeted and that it has let up a little bit for you. Well, I'm so glad for you. I'm so glad for anybody where this horror story, horror show lets up a little bit. I've never had it let up. It just increases in scope. I thought when I moved from New Jersey to here that it would improve. I knew that it wouldn't stop, you know, um, but I thought it would improve. I thought going to a smaller town, I thought my cats would be safer here. I have 64 acres of land. I purchased them a new building. I purchased everything brand new here. I purchased everything brand new here. My house is new. Their building was new. Their ceiling fans were new. The chicken coop is new. Um, my silverware was new. I literally, I wanted to start a new life. I have new appliances, new microwave, and they destroyed everything, just ev everything. Within three days of my moving here, they stole four of my cats, my rescue cats. And one of which was the last cat and the hardest cat to trap at my feral cat colony. He just wouldn't get himself trapped. I guess after he saw all of his friends getting trapped, he decided, no, nah, that's not going to happen to me, even though he was by himself there. I couldn't get him. And finally, it was animal control. Thank you so much, animal control, for, for trapping him. Yeah, my animal control was so wonderful. She would go there and leave the trap, and then she'd, you know, go back. And if she caught one of my cats, she would just immediately call me to come and meet her at the health department. And that's what I did. She trapped, probably trapped eight or nine of my cats. Um, then there was another rescue uh, along with myself that was able to trap three or four. And then, of course, I trapped the rest. Um, just, a, you know, just a nightmare. So I'm glad for you that some of your targeting has stopped. And for all the naysayers out there, Robert Duncan has passed. We're not sure why. Now, this is curious. I, I always get curious when a targeted person passes or a whistleblower at his level. Um, they claim that they found him at home. So what, why did he pass? I mean, all these years later, Helena Chorba does not have a cause of death. Could you imagine? The poor family, they don't have a cause of death even through the autopsy. And of course, they don't do the full body autopsy, the deep into the tissues, the organs autopsy. They only do the superficial autopsy because targeted people don't get, we don't even get an autopsy at the end. Our family members don't even get to know the cause of death. Could you imagine? This is such a cover up. This is such a cover-up of what's happening in this country. This is beyond Stasi. This is beyond communism. This is targeting innocent people for revenge because you piss somebody off? You're kidding me. Because somebody doesn't like you? Do you have any idea how many people that piss me off? Do <laughs> you have any idea? Do you have any idea how many people have done me harm? You know, it just, it just baffles the mind. It really does. So anyway, I'm going to show you what, um, what was done today. Uh, this is the County Creek. So this is the extra work that was done here today. Isn't that amazing? So now what's going to happen, I'm going to show you. When it rains, and it does rain, and it rains really hard, the rain is going to come down the county road. It's going to come out that little culvert right there, that little hole. And it's going to come gushing down here. Part of it will be on top of the concrete. Part of it will be on the rock. This, and it will go down there. It'll do a boomerang because the concrete will end up pushing 
the water towards my property. Yes, it'll, it'll end up pushing the water towards my property because that's where it's being redirected. You could see that big chunk of concrete there. You see that? And then what's gonna happen is the water will end up seeping underneath the concrete. The concrete will begin to loosen, chip away, and it'll end up down the county road. So yeah, so that is exactly what's going to happen and all that rock down there has not been removed. And thank you all. So uh, somebody said that I need to go higher up, not file any more complaints with my local community. I agree. I, I, I agree. Um, I think from now on, I am going to be going completely up. I'm not even going to be going to the state police anymore. I think the way higher up is uh, in the state, um, senators... Uh, I, I will be contacting Congress um, and Homeland Security. I think Homeland Security here, the fusion centers, and uh, the Department of Justice, um, I'm, I'm going to have to start filing complaints in other ways. And I, be I do believe that I'm going to have to get an attorney. I don't think this is something that I can all do myself. I might be able to do some of it myself. I also believe that I need to file two lawsuits. Um, one would have to be on behalf of my nonprofit because there's just way too much damage done inside their building to them personally, to, to my eBay account, which is um, on behalf of the cat rescue, the taking down of my website, um, all these things geared towards uh, my nonprofit. So uh, leave a comment down below if you have any experience with that, if you think it should be one lawsuit or two. Um, I, I'm not sure. I might have to contact an attorney on that. But also, what is happening here is so egregious, so off the charts. Like I said, um, yesterday they broke my front door handle so it doesn't lock anymore. And then they went into the cat's building, either remotely or directly, and damaged their two-and-a-half-year-old this two and a half year old, a uh, little CD radio player, really cute. It's only in there. I play them a CD, you know, like birds, bird sounds and stuff to mitigate the loud bangs that happen in there on a regular basis. And I tend to play it all day long and then I'll unplug it. But yesterday they damaged the speakers and, um, and they're, they're really funny. You know what the error message is that I receive when I try to play a CD? First it says no, and then it says aw, oh, like A-U-G, like aw. Oh. Yeah, very funny. Or maybe it's just the way they program these, um, these electrical devices. But that's, those are the error messages that I'm getting. The CD will spin, but it doesn't play. They actually scratch the CD also with a check mark. Mm -hmm. They scratch the underside of the CD with a check mark and then damage the speakers that are built in. So they're all dented. And while the CD spins, and I've tried two different CDs, one that plays on another CD player, but, and, but nothing will play on this one anymore. They've totally damaged it. Yeah, so that was, you know, 40 bucks, 40 or 50 dollars. And, you know, again, these are brand new items. Usually you can have one of these players for 10 or 15 years. Do you know when I moved here, the former owner had a whole bunch of radios and they still play and some of the batteries were still working. Yeah, every one of the radios that I found here in all of these buildings, every one of them were old, 20, 30, maybe even more years old. Every one of them works. Everyone, every one of them gets a signal. But all these little things that I buy, bought brand new here, have been damaged by these criminals. And no, I'm not going to stand down or be quiet about this. I'm just going to try to close this door here. Sorry, guys. It's late. It's like 8 o'clock. One second. I, I don't have both hands because in this other hand, I've got all the debris that was spread on the property. All this. So I've got to pick up this. Um, I do this every day, and usually I bring a wagon here. My wagon is usually completely filled with garbage. I, I kid you not, completely filled with debris, garbage, torn branches. 
etc. Let me just uh, put this down a second and close this up here. So anyway, um, that's my little rant for this evening. And I appreciate every one of you for listening. Um, stay strong. Document everything. And if you're a new target, just because it's not happening to you now doesn't mean that it won't happen to you in the future. It also depends on why you're in the program, how old you are, how much money you have, if you own land or property, how greedy the people are, and how many people have nominated you into the program. You know, as I mentioned in my testimony, I believe it's more than one group of people that have over many years um, participated and or uh, didn't like me for whatever reason. And there's another one, there's another attorney, and they, you know, they, the theme amongst all of these people are attorneys. And you want to hear something else? I can't say who, but there's another, another targeted uh, woman in the community um, who worked at one of the law firms that I had a lawyer, that I had hired a lawyer from. Now, how can two targeted people, like in the same state, have that kind of weird connection? Hmm? I don't know. What do you give me? Your, give me your thoughts down below. And look, this is the new slab here. Right here's the left slab. Look at that. There are already cuts in it. Look at that. You see that? It's an eyesore. Just an eyesore. And I, I do believe it's deliberate. I, I don't think that, um, I don't think that, yeah, I think the, the Freemasons designed this. I do. The local Freemasons designed this. And you see the way it stops halfway through? You see that? Come on. If these people know how to build, they know that the water is going to go right under that slab. Loosen it up. It's going to go floating down, block everything flood my property. But anyway, I'm going to sign off for now so I can continue to lock this door. And uh, right now I see a raccoon running across. But So I'm going to sign off now so he doesn't think that one of my guineas is dinner. 